I met up with Rob out in West Texas for a ride to go explore the vast flatness in the West Texas desert. It is hard to imagine it now, but this area, also known as the Permian Basin, was once a very vast ocean floor millions of years ago. is a big euro at El Papapita's, <laughs> like, whatever, yum. This is one of the more rare sightings of the Suzuki Bee King for our YouTube channel, as my butt is usually planted on our Concours 14 on longer rides. However, it was fun to meet up with Rob on his Suzuki GSX S750, which is to me kind of a similar motorcycle to the B King, ironically, and head out and explore some interesting desert sites. What you will not see in this video is some high performance riding on any curvy sections of road as the only curves you're going to find out here are interstate exits. Just outside of Odessa we pulled into this fuel station here and put some gasoline in both of our motorcycles otherwise we were not gonna make it very far at all so Robbie just fueled up his uh, GSX S750 and is ready to roll out <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice bike Well, go flipping figure. Well, that's okay. Let's do this. Our first stop on our flat West Texas desert tour was the Odessa Meteor Crater, just west of Odessa, Texas. And you can see just how flat this area is when you get rid of all the buildings and trees that man has put up. The Meteor Crater that you see before you has about 50 to 70,000 years of dirt sediment washed into it. It is supposedly about 100 feet deep if you were to remove all of that dirt. I have been told that there are those who believe that this meteor crater was formed at the same time as the very large, very famous, and very deep meteor crater in Arizona off of Interstate 40 although I could find no information to corroborate this myself. Since the facility was closed when we showed up, we took the opportunity to get some drone shots of the motorcycles out in the West Texas desert before heading off to our next destination. Leaving the Meteor Crater, we headed for a local gas station to get some refreshments and Rob before pushing off towards Pinwell, further west, 
where the only things that exist are some old oil fields, some that are still operating, and a quarter mile racetrack which has existed for decades out here. And we stop there for a little bit like of motorcycle chat. It gives me good traction in the rain. See the big long grooves. So what tires, are these the original tires or have oh, you changed man. them? I've, I've gone through tires, man. Uh, oh, wow. So how many miles do you now have on this GSX? Too many. Way Seriously? Too many. It's a 2015 and uh, I have... Are you ready? 19,990. Nice, you have used this little motorcycle. Yeah. Awesome. We did not stick around Pinwell too long before heading even further west towards Monahan's Sand Hills State Park. It is not a very long ride, but the scenery definitely changes in a big way. There's a very comprehensive learning center at the headquarters of the Monahan Sand Hills State Park in the Sand Dunes. And you'll definitely get a much better idea of what uh, this region is like. And we pretty much wrapped up our trip out here, heading straight back in to Odessa for some overdue lunch. And afterward, we went to this very large parking lot where we got some gratuitous drone footage of the motorcycles before parting ways. If you ever find yourself out in the flat desert of West Texas and want to learn a little bit more about the area, you can visit the Petroleum Museum just outside of Midland, Texas. And that is something that Tim Kreitz has featured on his own moto vlog if you want to check that out. It will definitely leave you with a much better understanding of what drives people to move to this very, very flat, desolate part of the world. <laughs> 